tropical forests are home to the richest biodiversity on Earth, including countless tree species. A large number of these species are traded for various purposes and therefore need protection from intensive harvesting which could lead to their endangerment and even extinction. That is why, since 2007, the ITTO, International Tropical Timber Organization, and CITES, Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species of Wild Fauna and Flora, are collaborating on a program of activities to implement CITES listings of tropical tree species. The goal of this program is to ensure that international trade in CITES listed tree species is consistent with their sustainable management and conservation. This has especially been done through expertise exchange, but also institutional, academic and private sector partnerships with reference to multiple aspects of sustainable forest management. Scattered across the mountain ranges of tropical Africa is the African cherry tree, or Prunus africana. Its bark has medicinal properties, and its dried extract is used by European pharmaceutical companies in the treatment of prostate disorders. After years of over-harvesting, the EU imposed a ban on Prunus africana imports. In Cameroon, its biggest exporter, CITES and ITTO, began in 2007 a program to ensure its sustainable management. As a result, Cameroon has now implemented a chain of custody to guarantee the tree's conservation and sustainable use. Farmers are now trained and certified on sustainable harvest techniques. They no longer strip all the bark. Depending on the diameter of the tree, they only take two to four pieces every five years. The community harvests less bark than before, but receives a fairer price, earning a higher rate per kilo. If you take too much bark, the next thing is death. The tree will die, and then you will no longer have prunus again. So it is important to take just small and then allow the tree to be there. The Peruvian Amazon is home to approximately 600 tree species. Among these, the big leaf mahogany distinguishes itself for its quality, resistance, and malleability. It is precisely because of these characteristics that mahogany was subject to ill-considered exploitation, which drove it to the brink of extinction. ITTO and CITES Secretariat have been working together with Peru to create a program to ensure the trade of big leaf mahogany would guarantee its sustainability and conservation. Big leaf mahogany is found in nine areas of Peru, but following the census which was carried out by the ITTO CITES program, the CITES Management Authority authorized sustainable use of this timber in two of these areas only, in accordance with its principle of non-detrimental removal of the trees. The volume of exports for this timber has been drastically reduced. Found in the peat swamp forests of Sumatra, the genus Gonistylus, also known as Ramin, is appreciated for its fine grain and easy working properties. First listed as an endangered species in CITES Convention Appendix 3 in 2001, Ramin was uplisted in Appendix 2 in 2004, resulting in a tougher restriction on its trade. To cover the information gaps and help implement new methodologies for its conservation and sustainable use, Indonesia was the first country to publish a national guideline for non-detrimental findings of this species. What we have been providing under this program of uh, ITTO CITES is basically to help as you look at uh, how to do inventory, forest inventory better, using better design, cost effective. So with better information, they can make sure that the cut, how much they remove from the forest, in each harvest does not exceed what the natural capacity to regenerate. In every cutting block, a minimum diameter is required for cutting a ramine tree, safeguarding its population and preventing endangerment. Its reproduction process is a very delicate one, which requires specific techniques to meet sustainability standards and ensure the regeneration of the species. 
compared to the past, the Ramin population is currently far better managed and therefore of better quality. Timber and other forest products play an important role in the economy of many communities, and strengthening their capacity for managing natural resources is essential in helping to build a path towards a sustainable future.